Hey, hey, Virgo, Intuitive Soul Coach here with your June 2024 bonus reading. Welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you're new. If you're interested in a personal reading, signing up for the monthly newsletter, or entering into the free reading giveaway, you can find all of that information in the description box below the video. All right, Virgo, in this reading, we'll be taking a look at becoming the best version of you. Wow, it looks like right away here, endings bringing in new beginnings. Your overall energy, Virgo, for the month of June is letting go of something that may have been difficult, painful, toxic. There may have been some sort of hurt or betrayal attached to this energy. Wow, three of swords showing up as your greatest strength. This is big. Let's look at your fullest potential. What do we have, Virgo, for your fullest potential? We have justice, karma. So there's something being brought to balance, brought to justice here. Uh, this is also the energy of doing the right thing, right? And maybe the right thing wasn't done to you or it felt like there was some sort of unfair act, unjust act with that justice. But I do feel like you are moving towards a higher level of truth. I am getting here, Virgo, a higher level of spiritual awareness. And there's some sort of awakening happening, not just within you, but within others who may have been a involved in a situation even though you may not see their side of the story that's not important uh, but for some of you that could bring some sort of closure or healing or solace bottom of the deck muse of inspiration this is the king of wands energy uh, virgo this is what you are really working on below the surface. And this could be someone who takes charge of their destiny, someone who is very worldly, active, passionate, entrepreneurial. This is a leader, very successful. And you are an adventurous, warm being. And you want to inspire more creativity, more passion, more joy in your world. What's behind it? Four of swords. Yeah. You're putting something to rest here is what I'm getting. You're putting something to rest. It's almost as if uh, there's justice here coming in because that's your fullest potential is some sort of justice, Virgo. And I am getting an, a cutting off or a tie that may have been karmic okay, is being put to rest. You've learned valuable lessons. There may have been some deep disappointments, but I feel like there's a higher truth. And I keep getting that phrase for you, a higher truth. Now, starting off, you have the 10 of swords. Sometimes this can be a painful ending. It can be surrendering. Some of you may have fell upon hard times financially, emotionally, spiritually, even health-wise. You may have hit a rock bottom in some way, shape, or form, Virgo. But the good news is this is about, you know, climbing up out of a situation and moving towards a brand new beginning. Tens are endings, bringing in new beginnings. So your overall energy is really embracing new opportunities that are in front of you here. And I've been asking spirit for clarifiers in my mind's eye. So let's just take a look here. What's the clarifier? Oh, 10 of pentacles. Okay. So double 10 energy showing up. 10 of pentacles is the card of it could be marriage, it could be retirement, family, legacy. Uh, I'm also getting there may have been something regarding your stability that had maybe even went through a tower. Some of you, it's a divorce. For others of you, you felt like you were on shaky foundation with your career or your finances. Um, the material realm can also be body, right? It's the physicality here of this earthly realm. So some of you may have even had back surgery or you didn't feel supported in some way, shape or form. And I also see that through some sort of pain and challenge is really what was the catalyst towards a major awakening. 
for you. And so that awakening could also lead to, you know, professional career moves. Okay. Some of you, if it has to do with, you know, maybe opening up your own practice or your own business for others of you, this is generational that 10 of pentacles can be, you know, family. It can be debt as well. It can be investments, long-term goals, things of that nature, whatever had threatened your stability or not just threatened, it looks like it actually did interfere. I am getting tower as a clarifier here for your next card, but I feel like there has been something that shook the foundation of your core, shook the foundation of your being here, and you are moving out of that obstacle phase into more of a, a make it happen phase or the the strength energy that's another clarifier so i'm getting uh i'm getting cards left and right here so again overall energy endings bringing in new beginnings and i do feel like the hard times are over in a way. So some of you may have already received news of a completion of a new opportunity being offered. Maybe it's a new job. Maybe some of you, if you were dealing with the justice system or a divorce or a family, because 10 of Pentacles can also be family court, family law. So if that was a situation that you've been going through, Virgo, I do feel like uh, the, the end is near or you've already received news of a new beginning. I'm getting June 17th could be significant, June 21st and June 23rd. Those days are all being highlighted for, uh, for happiness, for joy, for celebration. Now, your greatest strength is the three of swords in reverse. Forgiveness. This is healing. It is coming out of disappointment, heartache, heartbreak. It's painful truths, separation, right? Rejection even. Rejection is God's protection. But I also feel like your greatest strength is to take something that was, that brought you to your knees, quite literally with the 10 of swords. Your greatest strength is to take that opportunity and turn it into something golden, right? And I'm getting a, a, a saying here, there is no lemon too sour where you cannot make some form of lemonade. Wow. Okay. Yeah. And whew, and the clarifier that I'm getting with this three of swords is the tower. So expect the unexpected and three of swords. I feel like the tower is is also, uh, it's almost as if there was a tower that shook everything, but the tower that I see coming in to clarify is a revelation that offers you freedom. There may have even been some strong energy around Aries season uh, because that, that tower is Aries, but I'm also getting the Gemini season. This is the release and we are in Gemini season for the majority of June. So this Virgo, and I apologize if I'm calling you Leo at all. I do apologize. Some of you may have. I know some of you have strong Leo placements in your chart or you are cuspers, but I am getting here this Gemini energy and Aries around you as well, but that's your greatest strength. So some of you, you may have gone through a situation where you grew up with, you know, uh, an addict uh, for a parent or someone may have suffered from some form of addiction and you've turned that into being able to help other people in some way, shape or form. Some of you have gone through a major loss or a major ending, but that was the catalyst for you to go off on your own and start your own business or start your own life. Uh, in some way, shape, or form, okay? Because I can't wait to tell you what I'm getting here at, for your outcome and celebratory energy, but it's getting through this because this is your greatest strength is your pain. And I know that sounds, you know, it sounds counterintuitive at times, but it really is the source of a major awakening within you. So what is your fullest potential here is justice, is this Libran energy of, you know, karma, balance, judgments, legalities, equality, fairness, and truth. Okay, so when this justice card shows up for you, this is doing the right thing. It is 
your moral compass. Yeah, there's something here with your moral compass being realigned. Someone else may have been dished out some karma because their moral compass was out of whack. And maybe you were the catalyst to someone else's healing. And I mean, life is like a spider web. Every connection we make, every interaction, even if it's a quick passing by, right? It's there's a divine orchestration that's happening here. And we don't always see, you know, other people's stuff, but it's because we live in our own reality, right? We're having our own individualized human experience. And I do see here that some of you, there was a situation that felt very unfair, but this is your fullest potential with the justice spirit. What do we have for the clarifier? Eight of cups. Okay. Eight of, ooh, okay. Eight of cups is my eat, pray, love card. And for those of you that are familiar with the movie with Julia Roberts or the book, it is about a woman where everything looks good on paper, right? If you looked at her from the outside looking in, but there's another example of we don't know someone else's heart. We don't know their story. We don't know what's going on internally. We see what, what they want us to see or through our own bias, through our own judgments. And what I'm getting here is something wasn't okay underneath the surface. You may have kept a, a good face here, Virgo. You may have felt like you were, were doing good on the outside, but inside something was really, you know, tearing you apart in some way, shape or form. And you tried to hold it all together and you, you did a, the best that you could, but sometimes we just need to crumble, right? We just need to allow it to fall apart and allow it to be messy and sticky and painful and hard. And I feel like you went through that phase with the Ten of Swords. And this being your fullest potential with that Eight of Cups is moving on, walking away from something that may have been emotionally, you may have been emotionally connected to. So in Eat, Pray, Love, right? She doesn't feel that strong connection in her marriage, right? She doesn't feel like she's living her path, her purpose, and she doesn't have a passion for food and for, you know, joy and music and the things that once lit her up. And she starts over. She starts, you know, from a brand new perspective in a way where, you know, she gets that divorce. She goes through a legal situation and she takes a leave of absence from her work and she realizes that she wants stronger soul tribes and to feel love on a deep level. But because life goes on and we have responsibilities and we have this, this so-called belief or image that we have to hold it all together and just keep doing our thing, even if we don't even feel it, right? It's like we're robots. We're on autopilot and you don't want that. Virgo, you don't want to live your life on autopilot. That's why justice is coming in. That's why I'm getting the eight of cups because it means that you're on the quest for something deeper, more meaningful, but it's going to require strength and integrity and truth. And I keep getting that truth energy. So perhaps I'll see what clarifiers come up. But perhaps there was a situation where one wasn't fully being honest with themselves, right, uh, about what they truly wanted. And that may be that catalyst for spiritual awakening here. And truth may be some sort of an ending or painful tower that had occurred in your world, Okay, so I don't mind seeing this as your fullest potential because this is bringing that soul alignment back into balance. Whew, this is big stuff for you, Virgo. Big, big stuff. Now let's take a look at action steps. Six of Cups. Six of Cups is nostalgia. It's reconnecting to maybe a past energy. It could be a past joy that you once had. It could be a childhood dream. It could even be taking a look at, you know, past relationships that have stimulated you, that have influenced you in some way, shape, or form. Yes, sometimes this card can be past uh, you know, past life or exes coming in. I'm not a huge fan of reading it that way. I feel like it does have to do with our past memories because emotions are connected and tied to this. So action step is 
not not living in the past, but it's about allowing yourself to practice kindness and to embrace your own inner child. That is the action step here. Embrace that inner child, love him or her, maybe even so much love of what you didn't receive as a child, right? Uh, there is something here about bringing about some childhood dreams. This can also be acts, again, acts of kindness, childhood memories, it's second chances. So something that maybe you thought was over and maybe it is, right? But I feel like the dream itself isn't over. The, the shape that that dream took on, the expectation that you may have had for this dream may have ended but the dream in itself has not. So perhaps there was something you wanted to do, but you were rejected or denied to it, right? Maybe you wanted to go to, to medical school. Maybe you thought that that relationship was gonna be forever, or you, know, you thought that this person was gonna be there your whole life. There's just something here about a dream that you've had or a deep childhood connection that you had. It feels like it had been severed, okay? Some of you, it's almost as if, okay, this is deep here. Take it as it resonates. It's almost as if there's a part of your childhood that was taken away, okay? And that may be, for some of you, there may have been some deep childhood trauma, okay? Again, take it as it resonates here, but I feel like the action step is to give yourself a second chance at life. It is about embracing that inner child and allowing him or her to live out their dreams even if something was taken away from you. Okay, uh, Spirit, what is the clarifier? Seven of Cups. Okay, Seven of Cups is the card of options. Okay, and that's interesting because the seven comes after the six. So Spirit is saying you have new opportunities. That makes perfect sense why that's the clarifier because Six of Cups can sometimes be living in the past. It can be romanticizing the past or letting the past interfere with the present. And I feel like your action step is to tell yourself a new story, right? Tell yourself a new story. And then Seven of Cups says, allow your imagination to really stir up something deep within you. Allow yourself the choice and the options to move in a new direction instead of feeling like you had only had one dream and it was broken and it's never gonna come about here. The action step is, you know, needing to focus on a new path, a new beginning here and not feeling wishy-washy as well, sometimes that seven of cups can feel a little wishy-washy, but it's about daydreaming and wishful thinking and allowing yourself to have that opportunity. But then when you get to that, that peak, right, of second chance, this is what I want, this is what I wanna focus on, then don't let the past sneak in and hold you back. Then full forward, full speed ahead. It's like the chariot energy here showing up. So what is mes the message from uh, your higher power? Knight of material, okay? This is the Knight of Pentacles. The message here is don't be too cautious. Don't be too cautious. Risk is necessary because it's showing up in reverse. And Knight of Pentacles is a very slow moving energy, very, very slow. It can take years and years and years but sometimes when it shows up in reverse, it, it stops, it stalls, it puts a halt on dreams, on life, right? It gets in that eight of cups energy and right before we're about to take the biggest leap of our lives and move forward towards something more meaningful, a more enriching experience of the heart here, Virgo, we tend to turn right back around and say, but I'm just gonna stay in this job because it's comfortable. I'm gonna stay in this marriage because this is all I know. I'm just gonna stay eating this crap food because that's what I'm used to. Whatever it may be here, Spirit is saying, don't get lazy in your energy. Don't stay stuck in a rut because it feels comfortable. Take a risk. Your soul is ready to soar. Your soul has wings. It's ready to take a leap and Sometimes we hold ourselves back, right? And I feel like the message here is don't hold yourself back because this is just, for some of you, 
If you felt like you have been stuck in a little bit of a rut, know that this too shall pass. You're not going to be stuck in a rut your whole life. And some of you are saying, Melissa, I've been stuck in a rut for five years or 10 years or whatever it may be. I am getting that it's time, right? It's time for you to open up. That's why I'm getting the seven of cups. That's why the justice is here. That's why the 10 is here. Endings bringing in new beginnings. Spirit, what is the clarifier? Four of Swords. Okay, Four of Swords. So we see the Three of Swords here. We see the Four of uh, Four of Swords is what Spirit's giving me. Four of Swords is putting something to rest so you can move forward. Uh, Four of Swords is also about rest and retreat. Maybe for some of you, you felt you feel like you've had to be responsible your whole life. Maybe that's part of the childhood piece. Like your childhood was taken away because maybe you had an absent parent and you had to take care of all the, the, the siblings, right? Or perhaps you had to grow up way quicker than, than you should have. And there is something here about an innate sense of responsibility that you have towards someone, towards something. And spirit is saying, it's okay to have fun. It's okay to allow yourself to play and to enjoy, right? Four of Swords is also about self-love. It's renewal. It's rejuvenation. It is taking a break, right? Taking a break, catching your breath and regrouping. I'm also getting the message here of you've been doing a lot of self-development and a lot of self-healing, but sometimes we tell ourselves we have to be completely healed or we have to feel like we're in this position before we get someplace. And that's that's not necessarily the truth. That's that I'm just going to say it. That can be an excuse that holds us back from taking a leap of faith. Right? Because we're constantly evolving, we're constantly healing, we're constantly going through change. But if we tell ourselves, we got to wait till next year, we got to wait till Friday, we got to wait till after the meal to eat dessert, we got to wait to, you know, wear that red dress or that suit and, you know, for the, the next fun event, whatever it may be. I feel like spirit is saying, eat the dessert now, wear the dress now, right? Do what it is that makes you happy now, because that's going to be the catalyst to new opportunities coming in for you, Virgo. And with this being your message and that four of swords, some of you are overworking, overthinking, ignoring the signs of rest, maybe even obsessing about a situation here or ignoring the signs that even the body is telling you, Okay. Because if this is health for some of you, pay attention to the body, the back, the heart, justice. I'm also getting uh, something that is two, like our lungs, right? Um, it can be lungs. It can be, you know, L arms. I mean, most of us have two arms, but it's something that is in pairs. So pay attention if you have pairs. And I feel like the, a lot of the body does have pairs, but there could be something that you want to pay attention to if it's in twos is what I'm getting. All right. And then your celebratory outcome. We, I love that. There, there it is. And I haven't even looked really at what's coming in here. So you know how I was getting truth, truth, truth. Well, this is why, because you're celebrating the ace of voices. This is the ace of truth. This is awareness. It is new understandings and clarities. It is truth and logic. It can be about action plans, cutting through barriers, light bulb moments, aha moments. This is a big energy and there, you're getting clear about something here. You see the owl showing up, the white owl, something that you couldn't see prior, you're able to see now because owls are nocturnal, right? They can really use their senses to hone in when times are dark. And I feel like that's what you've done here. You're able to bring a sense of clarity to the mix. There's a moment of truth, a moment of discovery here. Communications being cleared up, indeci indecision being, being balanced where you are able to decide and move forward. This is also about 
hurtful words or painful beliefs or, you know, things that have set you back or cut you uh, through some form of belief or communication. This is being balanced out in your world. Spirit, what is the clarifier, please? What is the clarifier? Okay, uh, I'm getting two major arcanas. I am getting uh, the strength card. The strength is believe in yourself, believe in your journey, believe in your path. And then I'm getting the chariot, keep going. So believe in yourself and keep going are the two energies. And also, uh, ironically, we have cancer season coming up at the end of June. And then right behind it, and Cancer is Chariot, and then that strength is Leo right behind Cancer. So I do feel for you, Virgo, that this is going to be a very pivotal next, uh, you know, eight weeks for you. Even though this is a June reading, I feel like this is what's taking place for you now. If, it, if this is resonating with you, there's going to be truth and epiphanies, breakthroughs. This is the card of breakthrough. And because I'm getting, this is celebration. This is what to celebrate. This is your outcome because you've gone through a lot. And also this is the new beginning. And, um, you know, I am getting with this 10, it leads into that ace energy. I was thinking it was going to be a fool, but we have the ace of voices, which is major breakthrough. Keep going, keep on believing. It's like that journey song, keep on believing. So you are coming into a really beautiful time of awakening, new beginnings, self-discovery, and believing in yourself and your dreams. So, wow, really powerful reading here. I'm just going to take a sneak peek underneath. We did see the King of Wands energy. I'm getting a sense of freedom, a sense of liberation. Some of you are breaking, you know, out of some sort of a mold. You may be traveling and being more adventurous, more spontaneous. And that makes sense with that Knight of Pentacles, very slow, very stuck, not quite sure. For some of you, this could be real estate. This could be a move. Uh, this may even be a new business opportunity, a new entrepreneurship. Uh, you may also be looking at where you want to live or your mission and purpose in the world because this can be spiritual energy. This is the King of Wands, very fiery. It is creativity and passion and career and your projects. I feel like there's a lot of fire emanating and it does require you to kind of let go of what looks good on paper in a way that eat, pray, love, eight of cups. So letting go of something that was to make room for, you know, a, a really beautiful new beginning to allow yourself a second chance at life, right? And that's exactly where you're headed. That is what I have for you, Virgo. I'm loving this. This was a little intense, a little deep, but trust that you are coming out of that obstacle or challenge phase and moving more towards that breakthrough that a lot of you have been waiting for for quite some time. That is what I have. I hope it resonates. If so, please hit that thumbs up button. Feel free to share, like, subscribe, and hit that bell if you haven't already. Thank you so very much for tuning in, Virgo. Lots of love.